Hi there, uh, welcome back to my channel with Louis Solution Vlogs. So uh, let's continue with our uh, playlist uh, BPO Secret Files. So the, our topic for today is about KPI. So what is KPI? So KPI is a key performance indicator. So uh, before we go into discuss more about KPI, uh, if you're not a subscriber yet in this uh, channel, feel free to click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell uh, so that you have uh, an update uh, about videos in BP. Okay, so let's continue. So KPI or uh, key performance indicator is a metric that contact centers or call centers or PPO rather use the, to determine uh, if there's they're meeting business goals such as efficiency and delivering exceptional service. Uh, contact centers have a multiple of possible KPIs. Uh, the challenge is picking the right ones to holistically me measure the different aspects of the operations while not uh, creating data overload. So uh, typical uh, contact centers uh, KPIs measure labor efficiency and workload management can include. So number one, abandoned rates. So abandoned rates me measures how many contacts are being terminated by the customer before they are even connected with an a contagion so second a very speed of answer so we call that uh, in my line of business as AHT uh, average handling time so this means highly correlated to abandoned rates uh, ASA or AHT measures how uh, quickly uh, customers are being connected to agents then Oh, uh, there's a, we have a different uh, version of uh, average handling time or HD. I'll explain it that later. So the third, service levels. Uh, another way to measure how quickly uh, customers are being connected to agents. Uh, service le level targets are expressed as a certain percentage of contacts answered within a certain amount of time. For example, uh, 80% calls answered within 20 seconds so note that uh, these three potential KPIs before the contact even gets to an agent once the agent is handling the interaction uh, possible KPIs include uh, yeah, the first one I mentioned a while ago average handle time or handling time this is an efficiency metric uh, that measures how much time an average aid agents are spending on each contact customer contact it's a key input to staffing models for example uh, me uh, as a child support system, uh, representative um, usually the average handling time should be uh, five to ten minutes if uh, you handle the cost the customer query in more than ten minutes that's uh, you need something to ask for help uh, already to your support or to, to your co-workers something like that then uh, second one uh, first contact resolution or the FCR so the percent of contacts that will resolve in initial contact no follow-up required so what does that mean so just like uh, this uh, for example a customer contact it uh, right now and of course uh, before you end the conversation you will add anything else then the customer said uh, nothing else then after 10 minutes 20 minutes or even uh, less than 24 hours the customer will go back I I have uh, another query or uh, may I ask something about this just to follow up so of course we as an uh, as an agent or advisor should uh, predict already uh, what's the next uh, goal or next um, um, query of the customer something like that so before we continue uh, with this uh, our uh, 
part of what is KPI. Uh, if you're not yet a subscriber of this uh, um, channel, feel free to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that uh, you will be updated with whatever we have in this playlist or this channel. So, uh, let's continue. In addition of this uh, very operational uh, KPIs, uh, many contact uh, centers also measure the quality of uh, they call that quality of the service uh, they deliver as well as the effectiveness uh, of their internal processes. These KPIs may um, include the uh, customer satisf satisfaction uh, or CSAT scores. Uh, typically uh, measured uh, by post contact services or base or CSAT scores. So uh, are a, something like a barometer of how customers um, of their internal processes uh, what do you call that? how customers uh, feel about the service they receive okay so then another one net promoter score or NPS um, uh, measures the loyalty of a company uh, company's customers uh, usually on a scale of 0 to 10 so usually uh, just in my uh, uh, account uh, 0 to 6 uh, is already a detract detractor 7 to 8 passive uh, 9 and 10 promoters so where 0 is called a detractor and 10 is the promoter so loyalty is often influenced by the quality of uh, customer service provided uh, by the contact center then uh, quality scores also analysts uh, or supervisors evaluate uh, contacts based on uh, specific, uh, specific air criteria uh, which produces um, an aggregate quality score for the contact center so it, then next uh, agent turnover rate so measures uh, how well contact centers are retaining their agents uh, which is critical in an industry uh, plagued by high turnover then uh, lastly uh, the forecasting uh, accuracy so it uh, compares actual to projected volume to determine uh, the effectiveness of a contact center's forecasting processes so uh, this is by no means a comprehensive list uh, of all past contact centers KPI but it illustrates the possibilities and complexities of choosing the right set of KPIs uh, then contact centers should pick KPIs as uh, that support business objectives and then consistently manage to KPIs targets so um, again uh, this KPI will uh, determine how you are great in handling your customers in uh, resolving the customer's query so i hope you learned something about here about kpis uh, the basic terminology in uh, kpi so to all the newbies uh, going to the K uh, bpo industry this will be a certain guide for you so that's all folks for today and uh, hope uh, you learned something about here and if you are not subscribed yet again feel free to click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell and also hit the like button and if you are still free time do some comments here okay so stay safe god bless have a great day bye for now